Today is November 29th, Sunday, and we're about to enter the most critical period for a honeybee colony. December, January, February, and March. And I make videos to help beekeepers out. I'm not making videos to make any money. I have no desire to have lots of money. I have other ways of making money. And let me show you the best way to keep a honeybee colony alive during the winter. On the south side of a building, up against the wall, with insulation behind, one inch behind, and two inches on the side. And here is a shim with hard cane sugar. And in the mornings, not every morning, but most mornings when it's really cold and I'm concerned about a colony, I take an LED flashlight and I look in the hole to see how the colony's doing. If the colony is small and they're chilled, I put a strap on them and I bring them inside. Let me show you where. This is my bee room. I breed queens all summer long. I don't buy queens. I don't buy packages or nukes. I don't use a nuke box. I use a regular full size deep. In the small colonies that aren't large enough to be outside when it's cold, they get brought into the window. Any colony that has an issue has problems and, and gets smaller. And I work on trying to save that colony. I'll bring it in and I'll put it in the window. And if I lose a colony, I normally just take out the, the deep and I, and I drop the one colony above it down. And when I bring in a new colony, it's always on top because there's a roof out here. And that seems to help those bees know they're in a different location because they come out and they see that roof overhanging. So I don't lose too many bees when I move a colony. And this is how I add more bees. If I have stray bees, like right there's a stray bee in the window. If I get a few of those, I put them in a jar and I flip the jar over and they go inside. Sometimes they'll just die, but it's kind of cold in here. But, but anyway, that's how I get, if I need to add bees to a colony. And then here is, this is 100% cane sugar. I have a video on that shows how I make this. This right here will go in through this shim here, the hole. Now this, this piece is a little big, but I try to make them as thin so that I can get them in the hole. And here is, this is my LED flashlight, $10 at Menards. I look in the holes inside here too, and I keep an eye on the colonies. I try to check them every day. Okay, let me just go back out here and I'll show you. Normally I keep used foundation down in the cellar during the fall because I don't want Mac wax moths getting in it. And during the winter, I bring them out so they get air and ventilation. They have to have ventilation. I know mold doesn't harm honeybees, but nobody likes to have moldy frames. And here's an inner cover frame with some number eight wire cloth stapled on it. I set them on top of that so that the rodents don't get up in there. And then there's one on top for the air to come out and rodents can't get in. And, and it helps keep out the wax moths too. But it's going to be cold starting winter now. So I'll leave these out for maybe a month or two and I'll put them in my shed. And I'll show you my shed. During the winter, it gives you time to do other things like build frames or put foundation on frames. I've already got all of these deeps. They all have foundation on the frames. And this shed here, I've never been able to keep the wax moths out because they get in around this door. So I don't keep frames in here with used foundation, the brown foundation, because the wax moths get into it. And then to keep the rodents out and other things, I, I put always put these on top. One time I forgot to do that on a stack of deeps and the mice got in there and made a nest, chewed up the wax, made a nest. And then here's where I build my frames. And I've got all my frames here that I've checked them. So they're ready for foundation. And during the winter you can't order foundation so I have to wait until spring. But I'm set up for, I have enough foundation to get started next year. And we'll see how next year goes and I'll probably be buying more foundation.
So let me show you what I do during the winter with my table saw. During the winter, I'm not spending time pulling weeds in my garden or out in my clover over there. So I have time to do these parts. These are frame parts on the table saw, and I put in a stack of 8-inch saw blades, and I cut out like this right here. This is set up for the top of the frame. Just like that. goes on there and go like that. Turn it over. That's the top. And then this is the bottom groove. And then the last cut I make on these, well, I'll be moving this over and I put a piece of a underlayment down and I just carefully go over to that saw blade like that, flat, to a certain point and that puts the taper in it. So as you can see, those are all deep frame parts. There's probably, oh, a few thousand there. I could probably make a thousand frames out of those. So, you know, when you're not checking your hives, and I recommend you do that as much as you can, you spend time building stuff because it's a whole lot cheaper than buying it. But don't be like other beekeepers and just Put your bees out somewhere for the winter and just hope they'll be alive next spring. you got to keep an eye on them. And if they have an issue, put a strap around them. See, this right here is a small colony. It's got a strap around it. And if I think it's too cold for that colony to be outside, I'll bring it in. And during the winter, I've gone through eight winters. Some of them were a polar vortex winters back to back. It's okay for a colony to be inside a building for two or three months. If they're too small to make it outside and this right here has a uh, I've actually had to pop this window down and have a screen and let out some of the heat because these bees will generate quite a bit of heat but I do have more heat here some hot water off of this thermostat but generally I don't need any heat in here because the bees get too warm so I have to run a fan most of the time and these comforters here are for the front of the windows here outside. What I do is I plug up the holes, plug these holes up with rags, and then I put the comforters on this rope here to cover it up to help keep the heat in so they don't get too cold. And by doing that, I don't have to heat the room. And every day, I try to every day, if I know the bees are going to be flying, I come out in the morning and I'll sweep. This has been swept and that's been swept out there, that concrete. So I know these bees came out during the day. And the question is, did they come out while the sun was shining and it was warm and then they landed somewhere and got too cold? That happens a lot. Or are they just not healthy enough to make it back into the hive? But I'm not seeing a lot of dead bees in the bottom of my hives. I've used acetic acid five times this year, twice in September, twice in October, once in November. So hopefully my bees will be okay. So. Good luck to the rest of you this winter. Hopefully you'll get through just fine and make increases next year. Okay, thank you.